A trench is an excavation that's deeper than it is wide. Because of this, specific hazards are associated with digging and working in trenches. The most common and deadly of these are trench collapses or cave-ins. There are six common types of trench collapses with the spoil pile collapse being the most common. A spoil pile is made up of dirt and other materials taken out of the trench and temporarily stored nearby during construction. When something causes the pile to spill back into the hole, gravity exerts pressure downward and can cause any workers under it to suffocate. Another type of cave-in is the slough-in, where part of the sidewall of the trench gives in and creates a greater risk of a secondary collapse. A shear wall collapse most commonly happens at previously excavated sites and occurs when a wall section slides, sometimes traveling at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. Another hazard is a wedge collapse in which two intersecting walls cave in to form an unsupported corner. This usually occurs due to a crack from one wall that extends to the next. A lip-in collapse happens when a person or object is too close to the edge, or lip, of the trench, causing a cave-in. Finally, a bell-pier collapse is when the bottom of the trench becomes larger than the upper areas, creating a bell shape. When this happens, the sides of the walls closest to the bottom give way. Unfortunately, cave-ins aren't the only potential hazard associated with trenching and excavating. Another dangerous situation can be falling loads and other objects. There are often materials being taken in and out of trenches during excavation. These loads could fall at any point in the process, causing injury to those below. It's critical that all loads be secured, set away from the lip of the trench, and that all workers wear appropriate protective equipment, like hard hats. Another danger is encountering hazardous atmospheres, which usually occur in trenches deeper than 4 feet or near areas where hazardous materials could be found. In these cases, workers should be provided with respiratory equipment and atmospheric testing should be conducted regularly to ensure proper oxygen levels and ventilation. Employers should make sure that all movable equipment is as far as possible but no less than two feet from the edge and that barriers are used. Working in and around trenches can be dangerous. Now let's discuss how cave-ins can happen and what to do in case one occurs. 